happy Sunday. How did everybody sleep? Me? I don't know. I slept out here last night. It wasn't bad. I had the heater on. That cushion is really comfortable. <laughs> I lost enough weight that I can curl up on that couch there, so that's good. I wish I had just like a half a piece more. Oh, I could just stretch out on that cushion there. That's okay. Um. I'm painting Joseph. It's coming along. You know, it's it's getting back in the swing of things when you haven't been painting for a year. You know. It's trying to remember, you know, but this is the belly plate. I still have to put lots of skin on it. It's got some good undertones on it. So I gotta do yellows and greens yet, and you know, I I put different colors on the veins and shadows, and you know, the beginning of creasing. It's his belly plate. <laughs> but yeah, he's cute. So, anyways, oh and. I don't know. His head just came out of the oven. He's a little warm still, but you know, just don't forget you put lots and lots of color on, and then they put I put lots of skin on and stuff, so it tones down the color. <laughs> he's not gonna look like this when he's done. And he's too cute, but he is cute. I got the legs in there, and then I'm still working on shadows and and stuff. It takes me a long time to do that, that stuff. That's the color. Ooh. My face is flushed. <sighs> Must be the blood pressure. Stress. Anyways, I just want to say hi, see how you guys are doing. I'm still painting away. Um. I don't feel good emotionally. Not at all. I like I like I love painting, don't get me wrong. But I um I can't seem to get back into the swing of things, you know, like I used to. Doing changing videos and stuff like that. I really I really enjoyed that, you know. But these people that you think that are okay and they're kind and whatever, they're not. They're not. And, uh, I feel broken. And I'm back on my medication for depression. I know, I know the doctors can give me shit too when going on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. But I've been thinking about suicide a lot. And, uh, yeah, she asked me to try to go back on. You know, she said, Are you planning? I'm like, No, I just, I think about it though. You know? I think about it a lot now. Suicide. It's too much of this. You know, I ask you guys to stop, but you won't stop. You know, you're responsible for this, you know. What you guys have done to me. You're responsible for this. For what? Because I disagree with you. Because I don't, I'm not Christian. I'm not, 
I don't have to be Christian to believe in a higher power. What did I do to you guys? Begged and begged for you guys to leave me alone, and you won't leave me alone. So now I just think about my own death. I think about that a lot now. I stopped taking my heart medication. Part of me just doesn't want to hurt anymore. And every day now, my heart hurts a little bit more, and every day it flutters a little longer. And I, I wait for it to quit, because it catches my breath. My blood pressure is 91, my number is 91 the other day. A lot of pressure on your heart. <sighs> That's squeezing the heart. <laughs> so I think about suicide a lot. I begged you guys to leave me alone, but you won't. I try to be kind, and I try to say the things I want to say, but they always come out wrong and because I'm so emotional and everything, and everybody takes it wrong and then twists it. Some people twist it. Some people lie. Make stories. Bully me to the point that I can't take it anymore because all I was doing is just trying to be... Trying to get somebody to... Open their eyes. And you won't leave me alone. And I'm trying to paint. I'm trying to paint. I'm so trying to find some joy. And you won't leave me alone. Alone, please. Leave me alone. 